Danielle Nicholson, uh, the person which is very, very well known for the Polish uh, fans of boxing, and he's coming back, not really in the ring now, but as a trainer of uh, Mike Mola. First of all, your first impression of Mike Mola, I spoke with Mike, you were part of the, the discussion, and some people are saying that Mike lost the heart. Uh, Mike is a street kid also, you know, Mike is a tough kid not to. So, uh, I don't think the heart will never be an issue here. Uh, how long are you guys working together? Uh, we've been together for a few months. Um, just, you know, keep him the same way he is, keep his motivation, keep his uh, uh, tenacity, staying mean like a street kid, uh, keep him focused on just boxing with his uh, uh, rough uh, Rocky Marciano mentality. You, you mentioned street boxing. Interesting because um, Arthur Spilka is a very talented fighter, but he likes to brawl also. He's, you know, young gentleman, 22 years old, guy who, what do you expect from Spilka basing your expectation from the fights you did see? Uh, well, you know, uh, he never had a guy to really test him as far as his chin or his um, body. Mike is the type of uh, fighter that's going to be there. He's not running from you. He's going to be there doing the things that he's capable of doing. And that's, you want to be a fight? We're going to give you a fight. You want to box? We'll box you. But it'll be an all-around good fight. What will be the number one, two, and three advice you will give to uh, Mike before this fight? You no know, advice. Mike know what he got to do. Let's fight. Uh, there's no special treatment, no special thing. Just changing a couple of things. Just keeping him focused on his fight. Were you surprised uh, the um, uh, Spilka promoter decided to fight the guy as dangerous and explosive as, uh, as uh, Mike Molo is? Because people are forgetting just a couple of years ago, he was a WBC contender. Right. Uh, well, you know, they, I guess they're trying to test him. So, you know, uh, he's at the right place for the test. So, uh, Mike will be ready, Mike is focused. And that's all I'm uh, put to the full test right now. Mike is ready. Mike will be ready. Uh, it'll be a great fight, and uh, my man should come out on top. Daniel, I cannot talk to you without going back a little while to Atlantic City. And Yugalada is coming back at the age 45, fighting Przemek Saleta. But first of all, I want to ask you about what do you remember from this memorable night in, I think, so boardwalk casino in Atlantic City when you fought Andrew? Uh, well, uh, a lot of people don't Be know. Be honest. <laughs> I'm honest. I'm, I'm honest man. Um, a lot of people don't know exactly what goes on inside of boxing. Um, well, you, you was there. You, you saw the headbutt. It was a dangerous headbutt that really uh, discombobulated my whole thinking. and. Uh, and uh, the, the fight fans saw it, and the uh, officials didn't do anything about it. Uh, so it, it, it was a dangerous thing, and Galala trying to be who he is, uh, uh, they allowed it to happen. So. But I know you guys talked to each other, and uh, you said that, you know, if Andrew wants to fight you and, you know, straight some things up, you know, why not? Are you ready to do it? But first, he has to fight, fight uh, Przemek Saleta on uh, February 23rd. Would you wait? Well, when the time, it was about, um, was it last year? I think it was last year. We, we had a little talk about it. You know, uh, I haven't really did any serious training or anything like that, but... Uh, I asked him, was he fighting again? He said, no. Um, <laughs> and it, it probably would have been a great, great, great event Absolutely. for me and him to get back together. So, you know, um, I don't um, understand, you know, how his thinking is. He, he, he thought about going over there doing it. He, he must think he can beat this guy, whoever this guy he's fighting. So, um, I am not being a promoter right now, but... You know, if Andrew wins on February 23rd, uh, why not do it again with Donald Nicholson? Uh, never know. Never <laughs> know. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not a scared man. No. I'm the fault of everybody they put in front of me. I'm not a scared man. And one thing about me, uh, I'm also that knowledgeable guy that's from the waters of the streets also. And uh, all of us come from them type of waters. Uh, I'm not a scared man. So... 
the fight get to be tough enough, uh, the test is real good, why not? But right now, we focus on this fight and keep our mind focused on what we're going to do in this fight. And uh, it should be a great fight. Everyone should come out and see it. See another championship fight that we used to do in the old time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just train with, with Mike. I did see uh, and even make some pictures of you, you know, looking good. You know, the, the, the right hand is still there. A couple of, ti of times uh, Mike uh, barely survived, joking, of course. <laughs> but I uh, appreciate you, as usual, one of the greatest Chicago, not only Chicago boxer, Donnell Nicholson for uh, FightNews.com. Thank you very much, Donald. Thank you.